हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन स्टैंडर्ड फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स एंड चैप्टर फोर चैप्टर नेम इट्स पार्ट्स एंड होल्स सो इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन एंड द पेज नंबर इज फिफ्टी फोर hope you all have workbook so open your workbook and concentrate here question number 9 see first i will read this question then i will explain you write the missing number in the boxes to show equal part you can see here this is the boxes this we have to divide in a equal part so how can i divide i let's i will explain you you can see this is a one box and this here is given one number okay and this this is a one box and this is divided in a two boxes so 1 upon 2 so here also equal so we will write here 1 upon 2 one column a one box is divided in two equal parts 1 upon 2 so this uh, will also same 1 upon 2 and you can see here 1 upon 2 divided in a 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 so when you say this one also equal so 1 upon 2 it will divided in 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4 as per this as per your workbook instruction okay this is a one part this is divided in a two parts 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 means this is divided now in a column divided in a four parts so 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4 now let's see the second one you can see here this is 1 2 3 4 5 boxes how many boxes five boxes and the one is given the figure 1 upon 5 because this is five boxes that's why its name is 1 upon 5 so if you think why teacher is writing 1 upon 5 because this boxes are this this is a column and this boxes are divided in a five parts so that's why you have to write 1 upon 5 a column divided in a five parts so the fraction called 1 upon 5 so this is 1 upon 5 1 is already given and 2 3 4 5 this, this is called 1 upon 5 now this five parts a column five part divided in a 10 parts like this one part is divided is 2 this also divided so here you have to make a middle line and you have to write here also 1 upon 10 why with it's 1 upon 10 because it's divided in a 10 parts like this okay so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 10 equal parts as per this work workbook instruction here is divided so we all have to divide this boxes five boxes first a column is divided in a five box then it's divided in a 10 box so that's we have to write 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 and here also write 1 upon 10 why teacher is writing here 1 upon 10 because a column is divided in a 10 equal parts as per your books instruction if you see a single column if you take a single column 1 upon 5 then you can see here this is 1 upon 5 then if you have to divide it so that it will come 1 upon 10 1 upon 5 a single column that is we if you do the fraction that you you have to divide it uh, in a two columns that it will come a fraction 1 upon 10 this side if 1 upon 10 so this side also 1 upon 
okay students so like this also 1 upon 5 and this is a fraction divided in 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 this is also 1 upon 5 so this is divided in 1 upon 10 this also a fraction in 1 upon 5 it's divided in a 1 upon 10 and this also 1 upon 5 it's divided in a 1 upon 10 if you take a 1 1 boxes so it will divide on 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 okay if you take a whole column so like this you have to count 1 2 3 4 5 because it's a 5 in a column so 5 boxes in a column so you have to write 1 upon 5 1 upon 5 1 upon okay and this is in a this is divided in a 10 column so that's why we are writing here 1 upon 10 1 upon 10 and 1 upon as per your workbooks workbook instruction okay students now turn your page and come on page number 55 now you have to see here here also instruction is given okay instruction that we have to follow we don't have to use we don't have to write uh, like our mind we have to follow this workbook instruction so let's see your workbook instruction in your workbook it's given of one column it's called one upon three if it's a one column it's one upon three so here also one two three another three column it's in a equal parts another three column in a equal parts so if one box is 1 upon 3 to another 3 also called 1 upon 3 as per your book instruction because in a workbook is saying one column is 1 upon 3 to another 3 column also have a equal division so that's why we are writing 1 upon 3 ok students now see a, a 1 upon 3 box this is Divide in a two boxes. You can see here. See. This box is 1 upon 3 box is divided in a two parts. So if the 1 upon 3 is divided in a two parts. So one column is saying. One box is saying 1 upon 6 to another also equal parts. That's why we are writing 1 upon 6. So as per this instruction. Your workbook instruction. We have to make another all. So if the one box is, is 1 upon 6, so you have to do this column divided as per your book, workbook instruction and you have to write like this. If one is one part is 1 upon 6, so another part is also 1 upon 6 and this we have to take the same fraction 1 upon 6. 1 upon 6 because all columns as per your books instruction is equal that's why we are taking 1 upon 6 okay students student, we have to follow our book instruction now you have to see here here is the given the column instruction is here and here so how can we take we have to use our mind so from middle from down we have to start okay so let's see here if this one this one is 1 upon 8 so this all instruction are equal you can see these all books are equal in parts and in a in your question also showing that all parts are equal when you read your question question number 9 so that you can see that there is written all the parts are equal so this one is 1 upon 8 so this all parts called 1 upon 8 you can write here 1 upon 8 1 upon 8 as per your book instruction as per your question because in your question is written all the parts are equal that's why teacher is writing okay now this box is 1 upon 4 so this all another 3 boxes also equal that's why we have to write same figure 
सेम फ्रैक्शन वन अपॉन फोर वन अपॉन फोर नाउ दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ आई लाइक राइट बिकॉज एज पर योर बुक इंस्ट्रक्शन here is written and the all the columns are equal now how can you do the another how can you fill the another two boxes i will tell you this is 1 upon 8 because you can see here this is four boxes this is four the total is eight boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight okay so we are writing 1 upon 8 here as per your book instruction Here you can see this boxes is divided in a four column. So you can write here you uh, one upon four, one upon four, one upon four, one upon four. Because here is four boxes. Now you have to see here this is two boxes. So you have to use your mind and you have to concentrate and write here one upon two because this is a two boxes. Yes. Okay, now if this is the one upon two, and here is no division, this is a simple one column. So you have to write here in the middle one only. Now I will explain you from here. So this is a one part. It's divided in a two parts. That is called in a fraction one upon two, one upon two. These two parts are divided in a four parts. So one upon four, one upon four, one upon four, one upon four. One upon four. And these four parts is divided in another eight parts. So that's why it's called one upon eight, one upon eight, one upon eight. Okay, student. Like this, you have to understand this. You in the question is. explain the all the parts are equal and you have to concentrate about your fraction what's the hints are given here you have to see the hints okay as per this you have to complete this question and do practice hope you all understand students so thank you